Hey y'all, Billy from Permapastures Farm. Okay, it's that time of week. You know what it is. I'm gonna do the chicken tractor on steroids, but this time it's gonna be a little bit differently because William is out uh, doing a number of consultations and Michelle is out training for a physical event that she's gonna have later in the year. So that leaves me as the lone sapper. Not bad, right? Well, the cool thing about all this is that back in the day when I was younger, I used to run three of these at the same time by myself. But I'm considerably older right now, right? But I'm still hard as woodpecker lips because that's how it is. Anyway, I'm kind of excited because I haven't done this by myself for a very long time. So today that's exactly what it is. I'm gonna tell you how long it takes to do. And also, you know, I'm gonna show you how it unfolds. It's really no different. And then we'll cover a couple of other things also. We got this finished compost under this tarp and then here we are. It's at the end of the next week, so we have another finished compost pile that's gonna be squared away. So we'll talk about that later, but first off, it's time for me to do what we did last time. Go back, watch that video, it's kind of important. We're just gonna slinky this net over the finished compost pile, move the whole net down the hill, and then flip all the piles, do the same thing all over again. So with that said, it's time to put foot to butt all by myself and get it done. Okay, here we are on the outside of the cage. We got this week's compost pile, one and a half cubic yards that was just produced. And last week, one and a half cubic yards. So at this point, you got a couple of choices. You can sit there and, you know, tarp them up if you're not gonna use them right now, or you can do what I'm gonna do, what I typically do. 
And that is we normally, think about it folks, the more you're able to agitate this stuff and put a little more air in it, the more you can break it down even more. I don't want this stuff broken down to the point where it's too sifty because ultimately a lot of it, at least down here, because we keep everything in permaculture in close proximity to where we'll need it. A lot of this is gonna dress those trees, these fruit trees I have down here, even some of the nitrogen fixers. So I'm not gonna use it immediately. I might do it over this next week, but I still got the 18 day compost pile up there that needs to get done. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stuff, which just got, I mean, it rained cats and dogs yesterday. So this stuff is a little wet and I'm gonna combine it with this stuff that's already you know, pretty well refined. So there's no problem putting them together, but you don't necessarily want to exceed three cubic yards. This stuff is largely finished, so it's not gonna be much of a problem. But what it does do is save me tarps. I don't have to tarp each individual week. And it also gives me an opportunity to refine it just a little bit more. Now, the cool thing is, at this point, it's all done. Now, how long did this take? By myself, nobody else here. It took right under an hour for me to turn all these piles, move the chicken tractor, set up the new cage, do the whole nine yards. Now, I will admit that it would have taken longer if I had to add, sometimes depending on your environment, and this is why it's kind of critical to understand compost, is that in other times I would have had to stop, water it down, and then add more material. This case, the moisture was perfect after all that rain, so I didn't have to do that. So just under an hour by myself. I don't think that's a bad investment for one day a week to have to monitor and maintenance this system. Chickens are happy, everybody's happy. So all I gotta do at this point before the sun gets too high, I'm gonna flip these two piles and then that'll be a wrap. There you have it, three cubic yards in no time at all, y'all. I mean, think about what you're, okay, think about the money you're saving in this system, at least how we're doing it. Okay, I didn't pay anything for the birds, we hatched them. Don't pay anything for the feed. We, they eat food scraps, they eat the biota out of this pile. And think about how this system, with a little bit of elbow grease, because honestly, I'm, okay, I'll admit, I'm sweating like a runaway slave, but it's a small price to pay for the life I'm creating. Think about this. If you were to go out and try to purchase compost of this quality around here, you're gonna probably spend for these three cubic yards somewhere in the neighborhood of about 150, 160 bucks. And I guarantee you, it is nowhere near the quality that I've created right here in my own place. If you go back and check out some of our previous videos, I think I make a pretty compelling case that there is no way you can buy compost better than what you can make because of the microorganisms that are indigenous to your place. That's another conversation altogether. But folks, think about how at this point, really and truly, this system is putting money into my pocket. At the same time, I'm growing meat birds that will eventually go into the freezer. There's so many wonderful and astonishing things that happen within this system. That's why it has to unfold over all these weeks because in each each little bit of it, I can expose a little bit more that might be a little too much to put in one two hour video. So you see why it works that way. So folks, the total time for this whole thing, and I'm talking moving all those guys, getting them squared away, flipping those piles, moving everything, and along with this was about an hour and a half. Now that's one day a week where I'm investing an hour and a half, if it's just me, by myself, to do all this. So is it really too much of an investment? Because frankly, I've gotten a number of calls this week of people that are interested in this, but they always seem to throw in that same caveat of, gee, man, that seems like a lot of work. Okay, well, maybe it is. Maybe it is for them. But, you know, weigh it out, see what works for you. So folks, here we are, three cubic yards, and this thing's gonna keep on trucking, keep on producing. Now, in the coming weeks, we'll show you what we're gonna do with this stuff. A lot of it's gonna go in the trees, it's gonna go in the gardens. It's gonna, we'll make potting soil out of it. So you wanna stick around for all that. So folks, we'll see you next week for the next wonderful edition of the most consequential 
food and compost producing system on planet earth bar none in my opinion so until next time this is billy the permaculture pimp daddy where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion this here is the reason why we'll see y'all next time